everyone and welcome back to Mystery Monday. I'm Karen from the Salem South Lion District Library and I'm your Mystery Maven. So today I've got two books, one that I have read and one that I haven't. And um, I really, really enjoyed this one. This is the one that I just finished reading. It had three great reviews from um, Bookless Kirkus Review and Library Journal. And I've talked about that before. If I see a book that has a starred review from one of those three prestigious journals, I'm always intrigued and it piques my interest. So this had three very good reviews from the journals. So I picked it up and I read it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. You can see that it's a pretty meaty book. And it sort of reminded me of the style of Tana French, if you remember In the Woods, if you did pick up that one or have read any of her other books, it is like that. It's kind of uh, in depth and it's a little complex. It looks at characters and the plot's very good. And it's an all round um, kind of a, a book that really will take you away and get you involved in, in the characters' lives. So, The Frozen Dead by Bernard Meunier is set in a snowbound valley deep in the French Pyrenees. A dark story of madness and revenge is unfolding. The first victim is a horse. It's headless. On the same day as the gruesome discovery takes place, Diane Berg, a young psychiatrist, starts her first job at a high security asylum for the criminally insane just a few miles away. She is baffled by the slightly unorthodox methods of the asylum's director and then greatly alarmed when she realizes that drugs are disappearing from within the fortified institution while somebody seems to be slipping out at night. Commandant, Commandant Martin Servaz, he's the main character, is a charismatic Toulouse city cop, fond of quoting Latin, and he can't believe he's been called over the, to, to talk about the death of an animal. But there is something disturbing about this crime that he cannot ignore. Then DNA from one of the notorious inmates of the asylum, a highly intelligent former prosecutor who is accused of killing several women is found on the corpse. Aha, now we see how these two things are gonna be connected. And a few days later, the first human murder takes place. Servaz and his colleague, the mysterious Irene Ziegler, must use all their skill to solve the terrifying mystery. So go ahead and put a hold on this book and you can pick it up on curbside pickup. The second one is called First Cut by Judy Melanek and T.J. Mitchell. Uh, these two are, are quite interesting, so I, I looked up the blurb, and um, they're a husband and wife team, and they're New York Times best-selling authors of Working Stiff and 262 Bodies. Doctor, so she's a doctor. Melanek was an assistant medical examiner in San Francisco for nine years, and today she works as a forensic pathology in Oakland. And T.J. Mitchell is her husband, and he is a writer with an English degree from Harvard and worked in the film industry before becoming a full-time stay-at-home dad with their children. And First Cut is their debut novel. So I like that they, you know, they've got these two interesting backgrounds that they are combining into a story. San Francisco's newest medical examiner, Dr. Jesse Tesca, has made a chilling discovery. A suspected overdose case contains hints of something more sinister a drug lord's attempt at a murderous cover-up. But as Jessie digs deeper, she faces unexpected pushback from her superiors, who tell her to stay in her lane and close the case and move on. For Jessie, San Francisco was supposed to be a fresh start. But as more bodies land on her autopsy table, Jessie uncovers a constellation of deaths that point to a plot involving opioid traffickers and San Francisco's shifting terrain of tech startups. So this has a lot of elements um, involved in the story and I think I'm going to put this on my reading list and put a hold on it at, at uh, my library. So there's two picks for you. I hope you enjoy both or one of them and um, I will see you again next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye.